Hello everyone, it's Queen Bean. I'm back to you with another video. This video is a celebration of the Fence Table that occurred earlier this month. Now, the Fence Table, we saw many historical firsts. So, let's get right into it. First up, we have Miss Justina Miles, who is officially the first deaf woman of any race to perform at a Super Bowl. She not only performed the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing, which was sung by Emmy critic and NAACP winner Cheryl Lee Ralph, but she also got to perform with Bad Gallery Re during the Super Bowl halftime show, or should I say the Fente Bowl show for 13 minutes and 50 seconds. Miss Miles' performance was amazing. You can tell that she was into her groove. She understood the assignment. Congratulations, Queen, and I can't wait for what you have in store in the future. As previously mentioned, the Emmy critic and now NAACP winner, Cheryl Lee Ralph, brought the house down as she performed the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. This is historic as this is the first time that the general public got to hear this song on live television. This is historic beyond words. Lift Every Voice and Sing was written by James Wilden Johnson over 123 years ago as his brother John Rosemond Johnson composed the song. Now, Cheryl Lee Ralph and the choir brought the house down with Justina Miles with their performance, their expression, and we all know with Cheryl's background in theater and Broadway, she brought everything to life. I've always heard this song as a child but to hear it in that aura it felt symbolic that we were finally being seen and heard and i'm so proud that they asked cheryl to perform this song because she carried it so well currently on the nfl's youtube channel Cheryl Lee Ralph's rendition of Lift Every Voice and Sing has been seen an estimated 1.2 million times and continues to increase in viewership. This is Black Excellence personified and I can't wait for what Cheryl Lee Ralph has in store for us moving forward. Now let's get into the main event. The Fente Bowl, presented by Robin Rihanna Fente herself. Her 13 minute, 50 second Super Bowl halftime performance show brought in an estimated 119 million views. In addition, the NFL's main YouTube channel's viewership of this performance has hit an estimated 88.4 million views and continues to increase in viewership. Now, I am not surprised that Bad Gal Riri is getting so much love and so much praise for this performance because she did this all while being pregnant for the second time. So congratulations, Bad Gal Riri and your growing 
evolving family. Now, I was not surprised by her performance. My only concern was the safety of her, the baby, and her dancers as they were going up and down as the stage was being shifted from side to side, up and down. That was truly, truly my main concern. Overall, Bud Gallagher really understood the assignment. The increase of Fente Beauty has increased over 800%. That is the value of Bad Gal Riri, always including herself every time she performs. And that is also a smart business move into getting more consumers moving forward. Now, not everyone was happy with her performance as it has been confirmed by the FCC, also known as the Federal Communications Commission received over 100 complaints citing that Rihanna's performance was overtly bleep dancing and movements that were offensive and completely inappropriate for children. Now, I am confused. I is lost. I truly believe persons have nothing better to do with their lives. So they will find any and every little thing to run to the FCC with to complain about. There is nothing inappropriate about this performance. Where was this energy? When Tucker Clarkson, Fox News, and other persons were running around spreading the lie back in 2020 and continue to spread misinformation, disinformation, aka lying to the general public, which has caused lives to be lost along the way. Keep that same energy, please, and thank you. Una always try to bring down persons who are always elevating and pushing the culture forward. Rihanna is black excellence. Rihanna is pop culture. And we will not diminish or dismiss her contributions for the past 18 plus years. I truly, truly believe you guys have selective outrage when it's convenient for you. Once again, congratulations, Rihanna, on the Fen Table. Congratulations on your growing family. And we can't wait for what you have in store for us moving forward. It should also be noted that Rihanna has been confirmed to perform at this year's Oscars in which she will perform Lift Me Up, which has been nominated for Best Original Song for Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which was released last year. The song Lift Me Up was written by Rihanna, fellow singer Thames, and director, producer, and writer Ryan Coogler. I can't wait to see Rihanna performing this song live for 
the very first time. Finally, the NFL should consider one of the following artists to perform at next year's Super Bowl. They include Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominee, Dr. Missy Elliott from Virginia, Usher Raymond from Atlanta, Georgia, Sierra Princess Harris Wilson, where she can level up, level up, multi Grammy Award winner and Emmy winner Lizzo, and Grammy nominated Janelle Monet of Kansas. I thank you for watching the fan table. Tell me in the comments of your favorite moments of this year's Super Bowl. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, please be safe out here. And I will see you in the next video.